For cheap Ultimate Team Coins, go and check out ufifa.com and use my discount code EGHD at the checkout to get 5% off your order. Yo, what's up guys? Jack here and welcome back to another FIFA video. But we got something a little bit different today. Something somehow got onto my timeline yesterday. I think it was actually EA Sports tweeting it out about a Turan that was a purple card. And I was thinking that would look tasty in FIFA 14. Went on to FIFA 14, kind of realised... It wasn't for FIFA 14, it was actually for this game mode, which is called FIFA Worlds. I've seen this before, but I've never actually played it, and I've never thought about actually trying it out. But, basically what it is, it's a free thing to download. It doesn't matter if you've bought FIFA 14, I believe. You can just download it on your PC. It's only for PC, though. And uh, once you download it, you can play Ultimate Team. You can play, uh, basically, Head-to-Head -head Divisions, which is also called League Teams on this, which is a little bit different, which we're going to have a look at soon. I'm going to give you a tour of this whole game mode. For those of you that have never seen it, or maybe, you know, you you've seen it but you've not actually looked in depth at it so as i said guys it is completely 100 free i downloaded it i think it was like a 2.5 gig download so if you've got slow internet speeds it will take a little bit to download but i recommend giving it a try because some of you out there might really like this the gameplay is actually quite good for a free game and we're gonna have a look at the gameplay towards the end of this video but um yeah as i said give it a go it, you don't need a powerful pc I, i'd say probably somewhere between three and four hundred pound pc if you're gonna buy a new one right now but even if your current one can't quite play, you can always turn down the graphics. Now, let's go into the settings and just show you what it looks like, basically. I've got my Xbox 360 controller plugged in. That's what I'm going to use for the gameplay, but I'm using my mouse right now to control it. And you can go into the audio visual. You can turn down the settings. So if you've got a laggy um, PC because your PC is not very good, you can turn it down to low. Um, you can change the resolution and stuff like that. Um, you can also change the volume. I've turned it down so it doesn't blow my head off as I'm doing the commentary. And you can just go into different things. Now, you can also go into the match settings. And you can also, you know, change the match settings like this. Uh, move assistance and stuff like that. But the controls are a little bit different from FIFA. But very similar in a lot of aspects. So, you can also see the controls here. Um, for If you've only got a mouse and a keyboard. So, you can play it without a controller. But it's going to be a lot harder. So, also on this interface, you can see there's a question mark up here. Which I thought was a really nice touch. It basically, once you click that. If you've got this game on full screen, you can pop this out and you can actually go on the internet. So let's say, for example, you want to go on Foothead and you want to see, you know, what some stats of some players are like. You can actually do that. So um, Falcao, just for example, we can just have a look at his stats. The, you know, downside is it's not a very worldwide played game. So the um, there's no pricing for FIFA World on this website, but you can still check things out. I'm not sure if Footwiz does it, but you can also just go on anything you want. So let's just go on Google. And there it goes, it pops up like that. Now obviously it has you know, its own message system, so if you're playing with some friends and you want to send an invite and play against them, you've got your, your social thing on the side here, you've got your messages up here. But um, let's first of all take you into League Teams, and then after that we're going to have a look at Ultimate Team, have a game of Ultimate Team just to show you guys the gameplay of things. So here we go, into the League Teams, and as you can see it's like Online Seasons basically. So let's click on Online Seasons, and you can see here I've played one game, a 1-3-1, one, one, um, it was just you know very simple, and I think it's actually four minute half, so I don't know if you can change it but it seems a lot more shorter it's a very arcadey feel to it um, but the weird thing about this is um, when you go to customize your head-to-head -head game which I shouldn't be doing that let me just uh, squad go to squad when you go to customize your um, team it actually comes up like ultimate team so you've got your cards like this which is really peculiar but also I, I think it's a nice touch because I'm so used to looking at cards in an ultimate team fashion even when i'm playing head to head i always look at certain things about them so as you can see here it's just the arsenal team and uh yeah this is what it looks like which i think is as i said a really nice touch um they're all non rares there's no such thing as rares shinies and there is silver bronze and gold though which is a little bit different we've got the formation here but the formation obviously doesn't change any chemistry within the team and if you wanted to play a game against someone uh, online all you have to do is literally click search and it works straight away so for a free game you're actually playing against someone online you've got your customized squads i think it's a really nice touch now let's go back to home where we can go onto the ultimate team bit where it says you just click on kickoff basically and it goes straight into the ultimate team now this interface is pretty much it's got a lot of similarities to FIFA 14 so you can see here you've got team of the week single player online season we've got the online seasons of course which is what we'll be playing in today if you go to my club um, you can see I've got my squads here and this is you know typically as your start pack you have a really bad team all bronzes let me just change this to um, summary now the first thing you will notice is hang on a second we've got formations yeah so Formations is back, just like FIFA 13, I believe uh, uh, Formations was still on that game. I can't even remember off the top of my head, but um, that means that chemistry is going to be a little bit uh, annoying, but 
I think it will change. As it's, as I said, it is a beta, so it actually updates itself. And I, I guess any players you do have in your club will stay in your club as it progresses. Um, so it's not like FIFA 14, FIFA 15. It doesn't kind of reset every time a new FIFA comes out. So as you can see here, we've got a pretty bad team and uh, we're probably going to come up against a super team because it is. Uh, this game's been out for quite a long time and there's not many people with uh, bad teams on this game. But if we just click continue, we'll go back. So now let's go and have a look at some of the transfers or the transfer market, your transfer list and stuff like that. So if you click on transfers, it comes up here. We've got your transfer list. I've got a player on there selling. And I've also um, got here, you can go to the player search. So um, we can find a player that we want to buy just like a normal ultimate team as you can see the prices are actually quite similar um, in some respects they are a little bit more expensive um, which is a little bit peculiar let me just go back here and go to search transfer market there's less items on the market so that's probably why the prices are you know overpriced basically so let's have a quick look at Lionel Messi and show you guys how much he costs roughly so let's go search and he should be I think it's a little bit more expensive than on on Xbox, but probably a lot cheaper on PlayStation because PlayStation coins are quite cheap. But as you can see here, we've got some of the special cards. We've got um, the green Messi. So let's have a look at another player. We're going to have a little look at Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo. He is pretty much the most expensive normal card, I believe. So here you go. Pretty much the same price as Messi, actually. There's not much of a difference, but you, you've also got his team in the season here, which is going for quite a lot of coins. Actually... I think that's cheaper than Xbox because people just, you know, it's, it's completely different on different um, consoles and different search engines. So I've given you guys a little bit of a tour around, you know, what it is, how to play and how easy it is to use actually. Um, let's go and play online seasons match now. I haven't really got much option because uh, my team is completely bronze. I'll probably just put on my goalkeeper and that's about it. So we're probably going to lose, but at least you'll get to see what the gameplay is like. So guys, as you can see, this is actually the best team I could build with my current team. Um, I'm obviously going to get some more coins, hopefully to open packs and I should, have, should be able to build myself a nice team after that. But I don't expect to win this game, but at least you'll be able to see what the gameplay is like. Hopefully it comes out decent. Let's go and search for a game then. So here we go. Um, it's exactly like uh, normal ultimate team we can now pick the kit let's uh, begin match I'm ready and uh, yeah as I expected it's got a full Argentinian gold team and uh, it's a very decent team but you can see his, his win to draws to loss record as well before the actual game which is a little bit different from normal FIFA so it's got nine wins three draws and one loss I've got one win and uh, I'm going to get absolutely dicked, I expect. One thing to note, the graphics is so much nicer. I believe it, it looks so much smoother in some aspects. And as you can see, they've actually taken, just just by starting up the game, they take a lot of the uh, graphics and cutscenes from the actual um, FIFA 14. And I think they use this FIFA world almost like a little test platform before they make it live. So here we go. As you can see, um, it kind of looks a little bit like FIFA 06 in the way that it plays. It's very, um, it's not got as much detail as FIFA 14 has. Um, but this guy is going to take a shot and I'm going to get absolutely dicked. Um, if we can win this game, that will be incredible. Because we've basically got bronzes all over the pitch apart from our goalkeeper. But it's, it's a lot easier to do certain things. So as you can see here, bronzes actually aren't too bad. Here we go. Go on. Oh, unlucky. Oh no, he's going to chip free ball that. That was lucky. Is he through? I think he's through. You can actually contain on this. I was holding A there. So uh, defending or, you know, old style defending on FIFA 11 or FIFA 12, I think, is back, basically. So we're going to 1-2 here and see if I can over the top free ball. Yes, I can get to it. Come on. Another thing to note is you can't fake shot with the X button. You can only fake shot with the actual shoot button, if that makes sense. For those of you that use uh, the X to fake shot in your own half, you can't do that at all on this game. For some reason, they haven't added it in yet. Come on, tackle. Brilliant. You know what? These bronzes are so much better on this game than they are on normal ultimate team. Come on, just have a crack, have a crack. Oh, unlucky. And as you can see, the goalkeeper AI isn't fantastic. But this game mode, as I said, is completely free, um, which you can't really slate the gameplay of it, if that makes sense, because you didn't pay anything for it. So I think it's quite funny. And as I said, it feels like I'm playing like a really old FIFA, uh, except it's got ultimate team on it, which is obviously the bonus of it. There we go, nice, and he's through. Win all is through. Let's see if I can finish this, come on. And it is, we are 1-0 up. As you can see, the shooting mechanics is completely different. Um, once you're in that box, 
it's so much easier to score and you can celebrate whilst it's actually really close to your face which is a little bit different as well but we're 1-0 up against this team I completely expected the goalkeeper to save that he is a gold goalkeeper and it is a bronze striker which is weird also for those of you that are wondering is there five star skillers in this game and what skills can you do you can do a very select amount of skills I actually tried the running whacker whacker okay he's going to score here yeah? Good. How has he caught that? That was that was a good save. Um, as I said, I've tried the running Waka Waka and it works, but for some reason things like Hocus Pocuses and stuff like that, they don't work at all. You can't do them. Um, I can't actually find uh, a bit where you can see the skill moves, which is a bit weird, but I, I just know them off by heart. So as you can see, it's half time and we get about a 30 second um, thing to change around your team, where usually it's 40 seconds, but it's 30 seconds on this game. And um, as you can see, you can see the in-game stats there. You can change the squad. You can customize uh, certain in-game stuff like the match settings. And uh, you can also do all the visual, visual stuff and sound and everything like that. So it's, it's very similar to actually Ultimate Team in general. Also, you guys might be looking at the gameplay and thinking it looks a little bit laggy. Um, the only reason it's laggy is because I'm playing it in windowed mode. And, oh, wait a second, we're through here. We can actually put, put us 2-0 up. <sighs> Yeah, as I was saying, we are in windowed mode, and when you're in full screen mode, it's not laggy at all. It's just when I'm in full screen mode, I can't record my screen for some reason on my PC. It just, you know, it's acting up, and I couldn't get it to work. I think that's it. That should be the whistle. It should be going, and it has. We've actually won that game with basically a full bronze team, except from the goalkeeper, which was uh, Ospina, the, the Arsenal signing. And uh, full bronze team... The bronzes play a lot better. That's what I've judged from that game. That was my first game on Ultimate Team. The only team, the only other game I've played is League Games, which is why I had one win before. But it was really good fun. Really enjoyed it. And I recommend you guys to go and try it out. And uh, if you want me to do like a, a big pack opening on Ultimate Team, on the Ultimate Team side of things, then let me know in the comment section below. And also hit that like button as well. If we can smash 500 likes or even better, that would be insane. And uh, yeah, that would be awesome. So thank you guys for watching this video. And I will see you guys later. Bye.